My cherished child, I am the Lord your God, and today I reach out to you through these words with deep love and concern. There is something affecting your health, something you have been avoiding or dismissing, and it is quietly stealing precious time from your life. My child, if you honor me, if you hold my words close, then listen carefully and take them to heart. These words are not spoken lightly, for they carry the weight of my love for you and my desire for your well-being. I speak now because I see the path you are on, and I wish to redirect you toward a healthier, fuller life. Do not ignore my message, my beloved, for if you do, there will come a day when regret and sorrow will weigh heavy upon your heart. But it is not too late, I am here now, guiding you back toward the care and stewardship of the body and life I have given you. Before we begin, I ask you to share these words with those you hold dear, your family, your friends, and all who walk alongside you. This is not a message meant only for you, but for every faithful child who seeks to live in alignment with my love and purpose. Let them hear, for I desire all my children to understand the sacredness of the life and body I have entrusted to them. Beloved, I know you deeply, every hair on your head, every cell within your being. I created your body as a vessel for your spirit, a temple for your soul. Through this vessel, you experience the beauty of life, the wonders of my creation, and the blessings I pour upon you daily. Yet, my child, you have neglected this gift. You have overlooked the gentle warnings I have placed within you, the whispers of discomfort, the signs of imbalance, the signals urging you to pause and reflect. Your body is not merely your own. It is a sacred temple I have given you to care for. It is through this vessel that you serve, love, and fulfill the purpose I have for your life. When you neglect it, you not only harm yourself but also hinder the work I have called you to do. Feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Hit the like button and comment hallelujah below. Let us speak now of the daily choices you make, choices that may seem insignificant but are shaping the course of your life. I see the habits you have formed, the patterns you follow, and the ways you treat your body. These choices are not without consequence. They either build up the temple I have given you or slowly wear it down. I see the food you eat, the drinks you take in, and the substances you sometimes turn to for comfort or escape. My child, these are not trivial matters. The nourishment you provide your body reflects the care you give to the gift I entrusted to you. When you consume foods heavy with artificial substances, processed chemicals, and excesses not of my design, you burden your body and shorten its vitality. The world may offer convenience, but I have provided you with all you need, fruits, grains, vegetables, and pure wholesome sustenance from the earth. I ask you to take a closer look at what you consume. Are you nurturing your body with the gifts I have provided, or are you feeding it what weakens and harms it? Do not let the pressures of a hurried life lead you to choices that steal your strength. Pause, my child, and choose the path of health and life. Equally important is moderation. When you overindulge, eating or drinking beyond what is necessary. You place unnecessary strain on the body I crafted for you. Overindulgence leads to imbalance, and imbalance disrupts the harmony I intended for you. Learn to listen to the signals I have built into your body, the quiet cues that tell you when you are satisfied, when you are nourished. Trust these signals, for they are my gift to guide you, and my beloved, let us aggress the substances that cloud your mind and weaken your spirit. Whether it is excessive alcohol, smoking, or other harmful indulgences, these things poison the temple I have given you. I see the moments when you turn to these things to ease stress or numb your pain. But these are not the answers you seek. They are illusions that bring only temporary escape while causing lasting harm. Dear child, if you wish to aid our ministry in spreading the message of Jesus. Kindly consider supporting us by donating through the Buy Me A Coffee link provided in the description and pinned comment. 
turn away from these things, my child. You do not need them. I have placed within you a spirit of strength and resilience, and I am here to comfort you in every moment of struggle. Bring your burdens to me and I will carry them. Find your peace not in harmful crutches but in my everlasting embrace. Finally, I speak of rest and balance. Your body is not a machine to be driven endlessly. It is a living vessel that needs restoration and care. When you neglect rest, when you sacrifice sleep for worry or busyness, you disrupt the rhythm I designed for your life. Each night is a gift, a time for your body to repair, your mind to refresh, and your spirit to reconnect with me. My child, do not fall into the trap of overwork and endless striving. Trust that I am in control, that I provide for you, and that rest is a holy act of faith. Lay your burdens at my feet and allow yourself the restoration I intend for you. In the stillness of rest, you will find my presence, and in my presence, you will find peace. Beloved, my words today are not meant to condemn but to guide you back to health, balance, and life abundant. I speak with love and concern, for I see the path ahead and wish to shield you from harm. Take these words to heart. Reflect on your habits, your choices, and the way you treat the temple I have given you. You are precious to me, and I desire nothing less than the fullness of life for you. Turn to me, my child, and I will help you. Together, we can restore your body, mind, and spirit to the vibrant state I intended. Share this message with others, and let it be a reminder of my love for all my children. You are not alone in this journey. I am with you every step of the way. Dear precious one, lean in close, for there is more I must share about the sacred matters of your inner life. You have been entrusted with a gift more powerful than you realize, the gift of your mind. It is not enough to tend to the needs of your body alone, the thoughts you nurture, the meditations of your heart, and the whispers within your soul are equally deserving of your care. Your mind is a vessel meant to dwell on what is pure, noble, and uplifting. Yet I see how you allow it to be clouded with fear, despair, and worry. These corrosive thoughts act as silent invaders, eroding your peace and casting shadows over the light I placed within you. Understand this, the storms of worry and anxiety you harbor do not only weigh upon your spirit, but seep into the very fabric of your physical being. These thoughts tighten your muscles, burden your heart, and exhaust your spirit. My child, I do not wish for you to live in this cycle of weariness and tension. I long for you to walk in freedom, a freedom that comes when you take captive the thoughts that threaten to pull you from my peace. Beloved, guard your mind vigilantly, for it is the wellspring of your life. Shield it from the voices that whisper discouragement and doubt. Instead, Fill it with truth, with my promises, which are steadfast and enduring. When your heart feels heavy with the weight of the unknown, turn to me in prayer. Speak to me, for I am near. I am your refuge, your constant shield in the face of fear. As you release your anxieties into my hands, I will replace them with courage. As you entrust your worries to me, I will gift you peace a peace that surpasses understanding, quieting the storms within and bringing rest to your body and mind. Child, the journey toward healing and renewal begins with the choices you make each day. Your life is a tapestry woven from small, seemingly insignificant threads, the food you eat, the rest you allow, and the thoughts you nurture. These threads come together to shape your health, your vitality, and your joy. Each choice is an opportunity to honor the sacred temple I have entrusted to you. The habits of neglect that have taken root may feel insurmountable, but know this, I am with you. My strength is your strength, and my grace is sufficient to guide you as you forge a new path, a path of life, health, and restoration. This path will not be without challenges, for habits are deeply ingrained, and change demands perseverance but do not let the weight of imperfection deter you. 
I do not seek flawless obedience, but a heart that is willing. With each small step you take, I will meet you there, multiplying your efforts and pouring out my healing into every area you surrender. Trust me, dear one, and let me walk this road beside you. Do not delay, for the time to begin is now. Each day that passes allows the chains of harmful habits to grow tighter, the damage to deepen. Do not let your future be a story of regret, a lament of missed opportunities to live fully in the grace I offer. There is a life waiting for you, one of vitality, strength, and purpose, but it begins with a single step of faith. Trust my love, and I will guide you toward the life I have always intended for you. Go now, my beloved child, and let these words light your way. Let them strengthen your heart and bring serenity to your mind. You are never alone on this journey. I am here, walking beside you, upholding you with my unfailing love. Together, we will break the chains of unhealthy patterns, and you will find a renewed sense of purpose and vitality. No habit is too deeply rooted, no change too great when we face it together. Listen to your body, dear one. The weariness you feel, the aches that slow your steps, the heaviness that settles over your spirit, they are not without meaning. These signals are whispers from within, urging you to care for the life I have given you. I, your Creator, see the depth of your struggles and understand the journey that brought you here. But I call you now to awaken, to rise and cherish this sacred gift of life. Your time on earth is a blessing, and I wish for you to live it with joy, not burdened by the weight of neglect. Every decision you make shapes the life you live. Consider this truth with care. The food you eat, the hours you rest, the thoughts you entertain, they all weave together into the story of your health. I know that some habits bring comfort, and that certain routines feel like solace in the moment. But not every comfort is meant to endure. Some indulgences may soothe for a time, but ultimately deplete the vitality I desire for you. Beloved, I urge you to be mindful of what you consume, not just with your body, but with your mind and spirit as well. Seek what is pure, wholesome, and nourishing. Return to the gifts of the earth I created for you, foods that sustain, renew, and energize. And just as you nourish your body, nurture your mind. Release the heavy burdens of worry, stress, and fear into my care. These were never yours to carry. Let me shoulder them, for my strength is limitless, and my love for you knows no bounds. To receive God's abundant grace, like this video and type Amen in the comments section. For every anxious thought that arises, Lift your heart to me in prayer. I am here, ready to fill the spaces of your mind with my peace. Trust me, child, and let go of the fears that hold you back. Together, we will restore the vitality and joy that is my gift to you. Trust in my unwavering love, and step boldly into the life I have prepared for you, a life of wholeness, healing, and boundless grace. Let your sleep be sacred, my beloved child. I designed the rhythm of creation with intention, the day for labor, the night for rest. Yet you fill the hours of stillness with distractions that rob you of renewal, leaving your body weary and your spirit drained. You have forgotten the sanctity of rest, the gift of stillness meant to heal and restore you. Your mind and body were made to pause, to recover from the weight of each day, but you resist the rest I ordained. Tonight, as you lay your head down, remember this, still your heart and close your eyes in my presence. Do not let the relentless demands of this world steal from you the peace I prepared. Each hour of lust sleep chips away at the strength I have given you, my child. Your health, your vitality, your very future depend on the rest you so often neglect. You may feel invincible now, confident that these small acts of self-neglect do not matter, but I see further than you. I know the road ahead, the trials and triumphs that await you. 
the consequences of today's choices will accumulate. The burdens you dismiss as minor will grow heavier with time. A whisper of discomfort today can become a shout of pain tomorrow if you do not heed my words. My heart aches to see you exchange your well-being for the fleeting satisfaction of busyness and convenience. That is why I am speaking to you now, calling you to rise up and cherish the body I have entrusted to you. Learn from the wisdom I have placed in this world. Seek knowledge from those I have gifted with the understanding of health and well-being. Open your heart to the healers and teachers I have positioned to guide you. My child, I have filled this earth with resources to sustain you, to strengthen your bones and extend your days. Do not turn a blind eye to these blessings. Take small, deliberate steps each day toward a healthier, fuller life. Begin with one change, perhaps as simple as honoring the sacred hours of rest and let the change grow. You do not need to transform overnight. I only ask that you be faithful in the small things, for it is through these small acts of care that I will bring healing and renewal to your body. Know this, you are not alone. I am with you each day, guiding your steps, strengthening your resolve. When you feel weak, call upon me and I will renew your spirit. When old habits tempt you, let your heart cry out to me and I will give you strength. My desire is for you to live a life of joy, health, and abundance, but I cannot walk this path for you. Your heart and mind must align with my purpose. Choose to see your health as a sacred trust, a divine gift I have placed in your hands. Care for it, nurture it, and allow it to flourish. Do not let regret be your companion in the years to come. Do not look back and wonder what might have been if you had embraced my words today. Some losses, my child, cannot be undone. Your strength, your vitality, your health, these are gifts to be treasured. Once squandered, they are often difficult to reclaim. I am calling you now, while there is still time, while there is still hope. Hear my voice, for it is not too late to honor the temple I have created in you. As it is written, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19-20 through 20. Within you dwells my spirit, a sacred presence. When you care for your body, you honor me. When you neglect it, you dishonor the divine gift I have placed within you. I see the choices you make, my child, the ones that seem insignificant but are slowly eroding your well-being. You turn to fleeting comforts, substances, and habits that dull your senses and weigh upon your body. These things will never satisfy the hunger of your soul. I create in you for balance, for nourishment, for vitality. Embrace what I have provided in its natural form and let it sustain you. Remember, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31 Let every choice you make reflect my love and care within you. If you want God's grace to be a constant in your life, a steady guiding force, then please consider supporting our ministry by clicking the thanks button. Your support means more than you can imagine. And listen, my beloved, for I have more to say. I see your weariness, the burdens you carry, the temptation to escape through temporary means. But these escapes harm the temple I have formed in you. They do not bring peace. They steal from the joy and clarity I desire for you. As it is written, wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging, and whoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. I am not taking from you, my child, I am offering you freedom. The comforts of this world are fleeting, but the peace I give is eternal, sustaining, and true. Turn away from these things, and find your rest in me. 
do not neglect the restoration I long to provide. Remember my promise. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Let me be your refuge, your source of renewal. Lay down your worries, release your burdens into my hands, and let your body and mind find the peace they crave in my presence. My child, I am with you. I am calling you to a life of health, strength, and joy. Listen to my voice, for I am guiding you to the fullness of life I created you to experience. My dearest child, guard the sanctuary of your thoughts, for they are the architects of your well-being, the keepers of your peace, and the shapers of your destiny. The thoughts you nurture in the fertile soil of your mind determine not only the state of your spirit, but also the vitality of your body. I see the burden of worry and fear that has entrenched itself within you, casting long shadows over the radiant light I have placed within your soul. Hear my voice and take these words to heart. Do not be anxious about anything. Instead, in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. And my peace, which surpasses all human understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Lay your fears before me, beloved, and let go of the weight you were never meant to bear. Trust in me as your protector, your refuge, and your unshakable fortress. In surrendering your anxieties, you make room for the peace that only I can provide, a peace that will flood your heart and renew your spirit. Understand this, the choices you make each day what you eat, how you rest, the thoughts you allow to dwell in your mind, are not trivial. They are the bricks with which you build the temple of your life. I designed your body to reflect my glory, a living testimony of my love and light within you. When you cherish and care for this gift, you honor me. But when you neglect or harm it, you move away from the abundant life I desire for you. I call you to remember the truth of my word. I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life, so that you and your children may live. Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. Each moment presents you with choices, my child, and I urge you to choose the path of life, the path of health, peace and love. This is my deepest longing for you that you may thrive in the fullness of the abundant life I have prepared. Do not wait for the weariness of sickness to overtake you, for pain to rob you of joy, or for fatigue to weigh down your days. The time to act is now. I promise to walk beside you, to strengthen your resolve, and to bless the steps you take toward renewal and healing. This is my covenant with you, if you turn your heart toward the stewardship of your health I will honor your efforts. I will pour out my blessings, multiplying your strength, granting you vitality, and lengthening your days. Joy will abound in your body, energy will rise to fulfill your calling, and peace will reign in your spirit. This is my will for you, that you may live fully, joyously, and in radiant health. If you believe in the power and grace of God, Type triple nine in the comments below. Share this video with up to three friends and like the video. Receive these words, my beloved, and share them freely with those around you. Let this message be a light to others, a beacon calling them to honor the precious gift of life I have entrusted to them. This is not a message for you alone, but for all who bear my name and long to walk in my ways. Let it echo in the hearts of those you love reminding them of my call to rise up and care for the miraculous vessel of life I have given. Know this truth, my precious one. You are deeply loved and treasured beyond measure. Out of this great love, I extend this call to you today, a call to healing, renewal, and restoration. Embrace it wholeheartedly, and I will pour out blessings upon you. Embrace it, and you will discover the richness of life 
strength for your journey, and peace that surpasses understanding. Now, my child, rise and begin this journey with courage and faith. Every step you take toward health is a step closer to the abundant life I have prepared for you. You are never alone. I am with you always, guiding, encouraging, and equipping you for this path. Lean on me, for my presence will sustain you every moment of the way. So rise up, my beloved. Take these words and let them infuse your heart with hope and determination. Let them light your path and renew your strength. Know that I am with you now and forever, watching over you and rejoicing in every step you take toward the life I have called you to live. Amen.